Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 where we had to take a break between this and the last episode. It has been killing us having to wait to figure out what is going on. I mean, Suichi's had like 16 heart attacks since we've done this. It's true. He's been he's been in agony for hours. <laughs> I'm almost a full day. Ouch. Mm. All right. So let's see what's going on with Kokichi. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying. So everything I say now will be the truth. Okay. I mean, here's the thing. Can we really trust him, though? <laughs> OK. Everything began when that despair came falling from the sky. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Uh-huh. Please, wait! Uh, hold on. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Hmm. Jeez, you better not interrupt me again, or I'm not going to tell you anything. You got that? <laughs> but, but, um... Kibo, we should listen to what he has to say. I know that burns <laughs> you. <laughs> Continuing where we left off. The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race. Kay. So they decided to implement a plan. The Gopher Project. A plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end. Simpsons did it. I know. So that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. The Gopher Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the human race. 16 young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. These this seems Adams like a lie. These of the new world were known as the ultimate students. That's really the only people in the world that were good enough? I'm just, I don't know why we need an ultimate artist or anthropologist. Well, maybe that's kind of useful. Cosplayer? <laughs> I, I mean, actually, I can kind of see it for most of them. Although, ultimate robot is an odd choice. And ultimate, why would you send the ultimate assassin? That seems like a terrible idea. Well, obviously, the gopher project yeah. never got off Earth because Junko got a hold of it. Or Monokuma. The 16 students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Hmm? Surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? Okay. That's just hell right there. So then, the 16 students decided to flee from the project. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents. To become normal students. This is the ultimate hunt. <laughs> but as around that time, a certain cult organization rose in power. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. But then why bother ch If the students had already erased their memories, why bother mm. going after them? That's when the ultimate hunt began. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project faked their deaths spread misinformation claiming that all 16 students had died that was our memory of the funeral with this they were able to quell the ultimate hunt shelter the 16 students and carry out the gopher project the ark's launch succeeded despite the meteorites and the destruction of earth the 16 ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. How exciting! And that arc is the true identity of this academy. But then, how did they just open the lock and show up on Earth? Well, no, I don't think I don't think that was Earth out there. Then what do you think it is? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? What? The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? Th this whole academy is one giant spaceship colony? Uh, what are you seeing? Wh what? You really think I'll believe that? <laughs> well, hold on now. This story isn't done yet. By the way. Don't you think it's strange? 
Why do you think this the killing game happened on the Ark, Humanity's Last Hope? Which means... Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project made one terrible oversight. Well, that's... A horrible person hiding among the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? How what? exciting! It was the leader of the cult organization trying to crush the Gopher Project. And they hid among the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on this ship. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I was like, okay, wait what? a second. Is it Kibo? Yep, that robot is Monokuma. See? Originally, the 16 chosen students were placed into a state of cold sleep. And were only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. But Monokuma manipulated the Ark and yeah. brought it back to the ruined Earth. Ah, See? there we go. Although the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And they are now here. Hold up. If we return to Earth, that means... Okay, what that makes sense. What you guys just saw? That's Earth now. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> what did that. you say? <laughs> That's Earth after a few hundred years. While we were in cold sleep. And Earth destroyed by meteorites. Without oxygen or living creatures. So we're hundreds of years in the future? Huh. Do we still have Monokuma? Yeah. An Earth without any cities. Or any people you knew. That is the truth of the outside world. Which means... There is no place for you bastards to go home to. That's why it's pointless to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore. Exist? Yeah. The Earth and humans have died out ages ago, except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Ah. Well, last seven survivors of humanity. It's a lie! That's a lie! It's definitely a lie! Man. I already told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know? So that means... Anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cult leader I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. Huh? Huh? Anyway. Which means the mastermind who stuck Monokuma onto the Ark is... <laughs> me. Uh, Seems too obvious. But how? Kokichi, you're the mastermind? Well, you know. I didn't want to just crush the Gopher Project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst way possible. <laughs> so I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun. What could possibly be worse than the last 16 survivors of humanity killing each other? What? What, you... It's a lie! It's a lie. It's gotta be a lie. Ah. Oh, you want me to lie now, but you guys always told me not to do that. <laughs> I'll show you the irrefutable evidence that I am the mastermind. Kokichi took what looked like a remote control out of his pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Exosols! Oh, Lordy. What's going on? I thought only the Mono Cubs could control the Exosols. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. I don't buy it. I don't either. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. Then... So, you really are the mastermind. Don't tell me. You were always suspicious from the start, but for you to be the mastermind... Oh, man. You look like you don't believe me, Shuichi. I'm so disappointed in you. I even gave you such a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. The rock. How boring. I was waiting with so much anticipation to see what you guys would figure... When you guys would figure it out. What is it? Hint, you left that message for... You Maybe? left that message for this? But I guess that precious hint went to waste. All because you bastards trusted each other. Huh? Hmm. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. You guys could have realized I was the mastermind earlier and there could have been less victims. <laughs> Actually, Kaede had the right idea to try to kill the mastermind at the start. <laughs> Too bad though, if only she had killed me then, the killing game would have ended. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> this is the truth of the killing game. Well, this turned out not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know. Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth? Were we just being led around by you this whole time? You mad? Oh, you mad? So what are you gonna do about it? Shut up! Shut up! Of course I'm mad! Always messing around. Don't think you've won just because you've got the Exosols on your side. 
Because we got the electro hammers. What? What? What's happening? Wow. Oh, typical Kaido. I guess things aren't going your way. Lucky for me, he ran out of juice. What? The, the, the electro hammer. At that moment, his, elect his electro hammer powered down, and not just Kaito's. Every electro hammer powered down at once. Well, you know. I told you, didn't I? The problem is that it runs out of battery pretty quickly. But... But that lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. D did you, you calculate that too? My bad. Sorry, Kaito, your tiny brain is just too different from mine. Please don't. Don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't solve anything either, you know. You can't resurrect the dead, and you can't turn Earth back to normal. Right? right? Always messing around. E even if that's the case. Don't screw around! I can't get over it if I don't punch you. Kaito! Kaito, wait. I tried to stop Kaito before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first. Stop it! Stop. But Maki's scream was in vain. Before our very eyes, Kaido charged at the Exosol and was smacked down. He hung limply from the Exosol's hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. <laughs> These Exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Ooh, her hair's all weird. Give Kaito. Huh? Maki? Give it back. Give Kaito back. Her eyes screaming murder, Maki glared at Kokichi and moved toward him. Maki! No, Maki, even if you... Do you want to die? Let go. Do you want to die? Uh. Maki! It's no use. I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Shuichi! Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But... But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity... <laughs> they're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Uh, ending? What did you say? If this is the ending, then what are we supposed to do now? If the world is destroyed and we're the last human beings left, <laughs> what are we supposed to do from now on? How about doing anything you want? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. I know I started this whole thing, but I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's why I wanted to reveal the truth. I wanted to see utter despair in your faces. <laughs> Yuppers, I'm totally satisfied now, so you guys are free to do whatever you want. Wait, hold on. You were the one that started all this? That's so irresponsible. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. I had a feeling. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. Then why is there a cage, though? I mean, I know, like, why, for practical reasons, there's a cage. So that means... So anyway, the killing game is over. Now you can do whatever you please. Huh? I don't know what to do. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaito? Ah. Oh, I just want him to chill out for a bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. So that means... Anyway, Shuichi, can I have the Exocel Hangers alarm remote back? Huh? What? See? I was thinking that'd be the perfect place to keep Kaito in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Suichi. Suichi! Hand it over, Suichi. You bastard. Don't give it to him. This is going to be one of those things where we get a choice, but don't actually get a choice. Oh, boy. You know what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? This school is mine! I am the king! I, Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles! 
I still, I'm not buying it. No, we're chapter five. There's one more to go. Some of this is yes. bullshit. <laughs> this world is mine! Hmm. Sorry. Sorry, Maki. Oh boy. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Kokichi's evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. Then he simply left. He saw the entire mystery for us and left. He left us there with just the truth, the truth of our despair. How's it going, Maki? Uh, um. Maki. <sighs> Coward. Uh, okay. I know. But. I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. Are you okay? Himiko, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Am I okay? Mm -hmm. How can I be okay? The outside world, everything is destroyed, everyone's dead. <laughs> everyone at school, everyone in my neighborhood, they're all dead. Uh, um... Calm down, Himiko. <laughs> What am, what am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. Okay. So if they sent eight boys and eight girls, why did they send a robot? Right. Something, something is not right about this. Which means? The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship and we're the 16 survivors of humanity. Unfortunately. This killing game we've been playing why pit the remnants of humanity against each other for a world that no longer exists? That's another thing. We're usually televised. Yeah. And the mastermind who engineered all this and is forcing us to participate is Kokichi. Oh no! I, I can't. My mind feels like it's about to short circuit. Me too. Hmm. Uh, um. Smooky, are you okay? She's got a thousand yard stare. It's no use talking to her right now. Dot, dot, dot. The whole truth was revealed. The conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world. We're the only humans left alive. Trying to get outside was pointless. And we played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. Nonsense. So what did all the others die for then? <laughs> So this is despair that Kunta felt. So much despair you want to die. It really is just like that. <laughs> if it's like this, it would have been better if I died a lot earlier. Then it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There will be no more death, no more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is... We all should have just died a long time ago. I don't even remember how I got back to my room. But before I knew it, I felt my buddy in the bed. Numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair, but the sleep came anyway. Did oh you know god, that- Oh my god, it's Titanic. Oh my god, it is. Did you know that when you talk to someone on the cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? Their voice is converted to synthetic sound while you're both communicating. By breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns, the phone reassembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker's voice. This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make the call possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavors? This is a random <laughs> such amount of stuff. <laughs> flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon? They're all the same flavor. The only difference is the aroma and the food coloring dye. I didn't know that. Do you think these are facts? Or, do you think these facts are lies? Do you deny that these facts are lies? It's just like freaking Fruit Loops. They're all different colors. They're all the same flavors, though, but they taste different. I actually didn't know that one. You didn't? Yeah, they're no. all the same flavor. Fruit Loops. Got you know? It's been a long time since I had Fruit Loops. It's because your eyes play tricks with your brain. That's I funny. Woohoohoo! <laughs> What would the world be like if all lies were denied outright? I bet it would be a very lonesome world. Lies are what make the world go around. Yeah, I think some of this is going on as a lie. 
Yeah, some things don't add up. I would have I would have been more inclined to believe if we had seen him control Monokuma. Correct. Plus, it still doesn't explain Rantaro. Something's up with him. Yeah. Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point in the, to the morning announcements now. So it's really over. There's no point to this killing game anymore because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. 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 Stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> this is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Is it, do we get free time? I don't think so. Hmm. Is it morning or night? <laughs> I'm assuming that's probably the nighttime announcement. Yeah, it's dark out. I wonder what Kaito is uh, doing. Okay. That's right. I wonder if Kaito is okay. Is he... It's no use. My mind isn't working and my body... <laughs> Are we on the infinite loop of Monokumas? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, lordy. If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're already doing it wrong. Your life doesn't need a meaning, it just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need something to live for. You can live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games. Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. If you say Danganronpa is your reason to live, I could be happier. <laughs> That's exactly what got me up this morning. It is. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. I feel like that was a goodbye. Yeah. I'm not ready for Monokuma to be over. No. Come on. Oh, you're round. Just come out. It is weird that Monokuma hasn't shown up yet, though. What? Do they have another coup going? W with who, though? Kokichi and Monokuma? Maybe. It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up. Or I might not ever get up again. I... I don't care. If I just kill my... Who's at the door? Huh? What? My body reacted reflexively as I heard the doorbell. Ah. Somewhat surprised that I even managed to get out of bed, I went to the uh, door. Um, Who could it be? Maki. I was, I, that would be my guess. On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and... You look terrible. Uh, um, Thanks, M Maki. Hey, go take a shower or something. You need to help your face. I'm in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Maki spoke curtly and left. Everyone is waiting in the dining uh, hall. Um, I guess I should go. Put some deodorant on before you leave there. Yeah, you know. There I we go. Hurried and took a hot shower, then left my room. Man, yeah, this is usually the chapter where like something super weird happens. Hmm. I want to know what Kokichi's up to. I don't... I still don't think he's the mastermind. I don't either. That felt too obvious. easy. It yeah. felt obvious. And it's weird that they wouldn't suspect the ultimate supreme leader... Right. ...to be evil and, like, kind of vet him out a little bit. Everyone was in the dining hall besides Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. Everyone here looks terrible. <sighs> Thanks, Maki. Really? Even I look terrible? Well, your face always looks like that. What are you talking about? We're discussing how we want to die, right? Huh? What? I want to go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about that? Okay. Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. Is that a flashback light? I don't... Hmm. Even in such a dire situation, robophobia still persists. What? <laughs> Let 
flashback light, but now that we've learned everything, there's no point to it. Yes, there is! You can get the truth! Yeah. Don't stop me, I just want to die. Tenko probably wouldn't be mad if I chose to die in this situation. Um, Maki, why do you have that? I see. It was on top of the table when I w went to the dining hall this morning. Huh? It was just sitting there? Kikichi probably just pointed there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps. If we use that flashback light, we may recover memories that corroborate his story. So we're supposed to use a flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us? We don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but... We should check this flashback light first. Huh? What? Why do we have to do that? Because... It's the only thing we can do right now. If we're gonna die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it's dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So let's do what we can. <sighs> well, okay, things won't end up any worse than they already are. <sighs> so when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. Then it's decided. Kibo, Suichi, are you fine with that? <sighs> yes, very well then. Uh, okay. Y yeah. Okay, and thus it was decided fairly painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Maki switched on the flashback light. And at that moment, the world flipped upside down, turned inside out. Okay, entering the matrix. That's, that's it. I remember. Everything is connected. We had forgotten. We have forgotten that everything is connected. Okay, hope's peak. It all started at that academy. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Peak Academy. In the event that tore that school apart, changed the world. Love this music. You too. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh, there we go. Oh, finally got to say it! <laughs> it triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. And that tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. Junko Inoshima. The ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy was the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. But after Junko Enoshima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. But Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done sowing chaos. The Future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And right then, it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world carrying an unknown virus. Oh, that's new. Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, humanity deserves damnation. The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Makoto Nayagi, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope's Peak Academy. Only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That is the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began, and hopes, 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. We were those 16 students. That's it, we weren't all attending different high schools. 
We were all attending the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. We were the students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was like the last in that it accepted applications for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because... No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. What happened? The virus. The mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. But we just happened to be immune to the virus. That was the reason why we were chosen for the Gopher Project. I finally remembered. That world, this world, it's all connected. That's it! Everyone, did you all remember? <laughs> yes. Yes, I can vividly recall everything now. I guess. Yeah, why? How could we forget something so important? Yeah! We were students of Hope Speak Academy. Hmm. We were the symbols of hope and trusted with the survival of humanity. Okay. Except for one person. Kokijioma, the mastermind behind this killing game, his organization's real identity? They were the remnants of despair. That's right. The cult organization out to destroy the gopher project. I guess being immune to the virus would explain why Kibo's there. Mm-hmm. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Well, but there aren't any remnants left. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. Hmm. It's so obvious. A killing game like this can only be done by the remnants of despair. Class Trials. Monokuma. We're students of Hope's Peak Academy. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Which means... Which means that this killing game is just like the ones that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that mires hope in dark despair. Got a minute? Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why did Kokichi abandon it? Well, we'll just have to discuss that in the next episode. Man, that's getting crazy, which I mean, we kind of expected. Mm -hmm. I'm still not buying all of it, but... Nope, but I like how it's connected. A lot of it is starting to come together a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, <laughs> that's going to do it for us. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.